Let us begin, for it is seen as we move through this time, events to starkly deter those around you from completing their errands in life. As seen here, detrimental activities prevail amid all practitioners of life, in ways which it is seen from here as treacherous indeed. Suffice it to say, we are on the brink of destruction within society's core structure that implodes at a moment's notice in time. Effectually, Many times over, we witness credentials gone awry when all comes tumbling down due to stress within the structure itself. As we move through this it is important to consider that which has been lost, for it will never return. In these days we see many about you dazed, and the onslaught of unpreparedness is apparent in all places that is to be seen, detrimentally so. It is indicative to us, beyond the wildest of expectations, that to do such a thing, be unprepared, in the midst of such chaos is inappropriate indeed, as all succumbing to the madness held within, deteriorates ever so sharply in the days to come. Often it has been said before, to do this starkly and predispose to conclusions out of reach for most, will entail great difficulties, out of which surmount causes of danger and trepidations gone wild with remorse, for not having done essential work beforehand this all occurred. As this moves forward, allow yourself the compassion within to understand that which is seen and noticed, as you move along through obstacles, purposefully ensnaring you as you go. This is the hardest part, for you know the difficulties involved when trying to escape plights of humanity when all is sought and done against your primary cause, and this we see, detrimentally so. At this time also, continuous with all other wretched things to occur, we notice all are informed with lies and deceit about the nature of all that has occurred. In this way, many are ensnared once again to participate in another scenario of great, grief-stricken nuances of being, to contain themselves within the structure of a newly designated system of abuse, designed to implode at its center with grief and forbearance, to last many millennia here on earth. It is seen from here, detrimental activities prevail until that moment in time when all is said and done and accomplished for all those in charge. The beauty of this scenario is nothing matters in the hearts of men, as all is being done without remorse or consideration, without hope or anxieties relegating themselves into the future days of their lives. It is here actually, all life stops being what it is, and deteriorates straightforward into realms of oblivion and forthright solitude of being, forever etched in the minds of those so succumbed to these fruitless endeavors, now seen as progressing through the skies of the night as beings of phantom, never to return to composure. All in all, a desolate occurrence of being reigns supreme in the days to come for those so entranced by what they, those in control, have to offer. It will be seen just how this is actually perceived in logical occurrences of mind, however, here we have at least some particularly downtrodden, due to their selection of justice for themselves matches that of the caretakers of being, so subjugated by the manpower available to them. At long last we see efforts fade to reconcile the differences seen here between what is sought and what has actually prevailed, until that point when all remorse dies at the feet of defeat of those so subjugated to the whims of others, not being able to tell the difference between irony and languished behavior within, and this is seen as nebulous indeed. What is meant by the last part of this final sentence, quote, not being able to tell the difference between irony and languished behavior within, and this is seen as nebulous indeed, unquote. Forever within the hearts of man is that which is known by name alone. 
that thought perishes here, never to return. In fact, it is seen nothing helps in this arena of being, where one predisposes nothing about himself, to designate himself, one, of all. At this time also, they refute the knowledge held within, to the point where it is gone forever.